I've got the genius idea to turn my thrifted wardrobe into the Gucci runway. That's about it. That's basically all the explaining you need. Most of you know my affection towards music, but I also have a big affection towards fashion and thrifted fashion at that. Some of my favorite artists wear Gucci on their performances and they're a little bit more avant-garde than the regular ready-to-wear Gucci t-shirt, jacket, even loafer. We're gonna try to take my wardrobe, which is very colorful and wacky, and give it the creative director Alessandro spin on it for a whole week. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, we're going for some like massive pattern mixing kind of outfits as well as like this. This will be pretty easy for me. So uh, let's hop into my closet. <laughs> Gucci O Gucci was not your average founder. Growing up in leather craftsmanship, he didn't start the brand Many Love until he was 40 years old. 1921, Florence, Italy. So this is outfit one. I'm gonna go into a public place looking like this. Keep talking good, keep talking sweet, keep sugar raw, baby. I got you good. I got you sweet, got you on hold My baby knows, baby knows What I'm all about, what I'm all about My baby knows, my baby knows What I'm all about I decided to do this project not only to showcase thrifting and its ability to be relevant in modern trend and runway, sustainability and environmental friendliness, but to challenge my wardrobe and inner Gucci creative director while learning about the brand along the way. There's some things I'm looking to avoid. I don't want to do polka dots. And if I do plaids, they need to be large plaids. And Gucci is really focused on reviving the floral. Kind of got revived when Tom Ford was a creative director from 2005 to I believe 2015. They revived the silk floral scarf that was made for Grace Kelly. It's not like what you see in like a chevron or a really repetitive print. It's kind of like a eloquent, a snakeskin velvet. It has a bellow sleeve, which could be used for layering, but we just gotta keep looking. I need to Kanmari my clothes, but as of right now, we are Gucciing my clothes. <laughs> so I have been watching tons of runway shows for Gucci, and I came across this, which I found like maybe I could do something like this. I would say this is like a mid 60s kind of vibe because it has kind of that summer of love, but it still has structure like mod clothing does. I, what I'm noticing is 2017, in 2016 Gucci is like 60s summer of love, 1967. It's the vibes I'm getting, the florals I'm getting. And then when we go into 2018, they like transition into this like still 60s pattern, but 70s like format. And I know that Alessandro is really inspired by the vintage lifestyle. So like all of the campaigns are very vintage lifestyle. Let's keep looking. Gucci calls. <laughs> Never used these in my life. Am I a luxury brand yet? I guess, guess we're both burnt out. Cause something isn't right, I know. Not a single one can tell me what went wrong. These the day, take your time. wear a pair of pants but like we saw last night ain't nobody wearing pants in gucci runway shows for women's wear i'm struggling because gucci does not put women in pants which is their own choice it's fine they sell women pants but on the runway there is literally two pairs of pants and they look like two pairs of scarfs sewn together so i might just do a crossover to menswear wear a solid thing or 
who knows i'm going thrifting tomorrow in my my fuji gucci and we're gonna see what we find so today kind of doesn't feel like i tried that hard but i think it's because i wear this dress a lot it's my favorite dress in my closet it's a 1960s trapeze dress that i got from an antique show and i've had it for probably almost eight years. This outfit has proved to be the most functional, even though it's not really functional. Um, I'm out and about doing photos today and it just had to be functional. <laughs> Gucci is releasing like Gucci places as of the past day. So I'm gonna look into Gucci places and see what that means, but there's still no women in pants for the runway. <laughs> I looked through the Gucci pre-fall collection for 2019. It's the most pants I have seen, but these are also editorial photos. So who knows if they are going to walk the runway, but we're going to use them. inside the closet <laughs> for the last few moments of figuring out some Gucci items. We can add something somewhere somehow. Let's just try some stuff. Maybe layering because you know it's Gucci. It's Gucci in more ways than one. It's Gucci in the good sense and Gucci in the we're just gonna do it because it's Gucci related sense. This one's the most like what I would wear just like without trying. <laughs> breakdown because putting so much work into this project because I want it to do well and I've researched it for so long I've been really enjoying this I've learned a lot about Gucci I've learned a lot about my own personal style and layering that I never tried before dude man who would have thought Gucci makes you cry <laughs> okay so we were just upset but we're not anymore <laughs> someone just commented on my Instagram you look like you're wearing current Gucci that means my research has paid off! <laughs> Does that mean I did it? Yes, yes, yes. It is like 6 a.m. And what I'm doing is thinking about Gucci and researching Gucci. I never thought this would be my life. I don't have to truly love some silly little piece of music or some band so much that it hurts. This one, this one is so fun. What a way, what a way to end it. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
We're gonna end it where it all began, with my final thoughts. I can make a whole PowerPoint presentation on Gucci. Alessandro Michelli is my spirit animal. I don't care what I look like on camera. Try thrifting for trends, yourself, and the environment. Find out the impact of the brands you're supporting with apps like Good On You. Well, that's all I have for you. Until next time, have a great day, a great night, and a great life. I'll see you very soon. Bye! Are you ready for all the videos this year? This guy looks kind of cool. Ooh. <laughs>